I'm Cindy Mascone, editor of Chemical Engineering Progress Magazine. I'm at the AICHE Spring Meeting in Chicago, and I'm joined today by Sam Thomas, CEO of Chart Industries. Sam will be giving the keynote address at the Fuels and Petrochemicals Division Welcome Session. The title of his talk is, What Are We Going to Do With All This Natural Gas? Ramifications of the Dramatic Expansion of Natural Gas Available to the Market Due to North American Shale Gas Production and LNG Liquefaction. Sam, thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Cindy. Part of the title of your lecture is, What are we going to do with all this natural gas? What is your vision for the future of natural gas as an energy source? Well, I think it's a tremendous opportunity both for the U.S. and also for the global economy, particularly the fast-growing portion of the global economy, because natural gas offers us both a plentiful source of fossil fuel um, for power generation, for transportation, for industrial applications. Um, and in addition, it's cleanest by a significant margin of all of the fossil fuels. So while we all want to go to a carbon-free future fuel supply, the fact is that those aren't economically practical for a number of years. Natural gas offers us a bridge to the future where we can actually make a significant reduction in our greenhouse gas emissions in the global economy, and at the same time continue to foster economic development. Now, natural gas is also an important chemical feedstock, and I've heard talk about feedstock prices increasing when there's more demand for natural gas. But with the title of your talk being, what are we going to do with all of this natural gas, does that offer some hope that perhaps um, feedstock prices may not uh, escalate so much? I think that's very likely. There's more than enough natural gas to go around. As we're seeing the increase in petrochemical activity around the world, particularly in the Middle East, the U.S., which traditionally has been one of the largest petrochemical producers, is now blessed with having additional natural gas available at very competitive prices in the world market. And in addition, as part of that natural gas production of methane, we're delivering more of the natural gas liquids, particularly ethylene, the feedstock, excuse me, ethane, the feedstock for ethylene. So it's really a bonanza for North American petrochemical producers. And I believe that it will be a stable price bonanza. Do you think this has Do you think this might help the American chemical, the, the competitiveness of the chemi U.S. chemical industry? There's no question. Since I wrote the abstract for this report, there's been a clear step up in the level of studies and um, forward engineering projects to look at adding ethylene cracker capacity or modernizing ethylene cracker capacity in North America. It fairly clearly makes ethane as a natural gas liquid the preferred lower cost um, raw material as opposed to naphtha from, from oil refining as the, as the base material. And a lot of the new supply that we're hearing about is the Marcellus shale and other shale gas. What are the unique challenges with, involved in recovering that natural gas as opposed to um, what we have been doing previously? Well, it certainly has enormous advantages because the Marcella Shale is located close to the largest concentration of natural gas consumption in the United States. The Northeast has traditionally been underserved um, and has seen price spikes in the winter um, due to constraints in, in supply. Having that natural gas available in the Marcellus close to market 
as well as the fact that much of our national pipeline grid, our interstate and intrastate pipelines, go through that area. So it's relatively inexpensive to connect that, that gas to the markets. It's, it's again, a tremendous opportunity. Um, the one area that is a challenge that needs work is that there is quite a bit of liquids rich gas producing ethane. The propane is reasonably easily handled. It's typically transported by truck now. Um, and there are some propane pipelines in the region. We don't have any ethane capacity pipelines. So that presents an interesting challenge. Do we build new plants on the Marcellus, which has recently been proposed, or do we put in pipelines to take it to some of the current ethylene processing centers like Sarnia? Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, it sounds like you're going to be giving a very interesting discussion, and I look forward to it very much. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy.